We have some breaking news from South Korea. Uh, South Korea's military says that North Korea launched two short-range missiles toward Japan. They were reportedly fired from North Korea's eastern region right into the Sea of Japan. Now, Japan's prime minister is calling it a threat to Japan and saying it's also a threat to the international community. Remy Innocencio is in South Korea right now. He says he has more. This counts as the 13th projectile launch by North Korea this year. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said those projectiles were launched from a province on the northeast coast. The move appears to be an attempt by the North to pressure the White House to make concessions in nuclear talks, which have been in a deep freeze. South Korea's military, together with the United States, is monitoring the area for more launches. Meanwhile, North Korean ally China is reacting furiously to a move by U.S. President Trump. In Hong Kong, anti-government protesters are celebrating what they call a moral victory after the president signed the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. That law, passed with veto-proof bipartisan majorities in both the House and Senate, allows the White House to sanction Chinese and Hong Kong officials and organizations based in the former British colony if civil liberties are violated. The Hong Kong government has called it unwarranted. Beijing has called the act hegemonic and doomed to fail. This morning, China summoned the U.S. ambassador to protest that move. For CBS This Morning, Ramey Innocencio, Seoul.